Welcome back. This is Dan Habe with CF Ninja Hacks. And in this video, we're going to walk through very quickly how to set up an email integration. There's really only a couple of minor steps you have to do inside of ClickFunnels. Most everything else you're going to do inside of your email provider. But what we're going to do is we're going to add a new integration so you can come up to your face up in the corner and go to integration. Or if you're in this page, just click on integration over here. So we're going to add a new integration. And as you'll see on the next page, they got like six different categories across the top of all the different things you can integrate with. But we're going to choose email for today. So we're just going to click on email. And I think I counted a minute ago that there are 17 different possible email integrations. And again, you would only use this if you are not using Actionetics or Actionetics MD. Now let me restate that. You could possibly still set up uh, different external emails, but you don't have to have them if you have Actionetics or Actionetics MD, just to be real clear on that. So here we have all of our different emails available. And in this case here today, we're just going to choose MailChimp because I set myself up a free account a couple of minutes ago. So we're going to call, we're going to give our integration a nickname, and it's already going to say MailChimp on the next page, so we can put anything in here. And as you see before, I just put in MC as I was testing this a moment ago. And then the next thing we have to do is we have to go into our MailChimp account. And here I am, I'm just actually only 60% of the way through setting up an account. But what all we need to do is come in and click on Audience. And then come over and click on Manage Audience and then View Audiences. And what it does, and you already have an account, so you probably know this, what it does is it creates an audience based upon the company name that you put in. And they say in here you should not create more than one audience, but that you should segment it using tags. And I think there was something else that they said you should be using to segment it. So this is the audience here that we're going to use. And what we need to do is we need to get our API key for this. So we're going to come up into where our name is. We're going to come down to profile. And then we're going to click on extras. And then API keys. Now, because I already did this once, I've already created one API key. If not, you're going to see something that looks similar to this right above here. And there will be a little button in there that says create a key. But I already did that. So all we're going to do is we're going to click on the API key. It turned it kind of a pinkish color. And we're just going to control C and copy that. And then we're going to go back into where we want our API key, we're going to paste that in, and we are going to add our integration. And there we have it, our integration is now set up. So the next thing we need to do is go into our funnel step that we want to set up for our opt-in. And just to let you know, you're going to see the automation tab here, but this is only for use if you're using Actionetics. So we're not going to be able to use the automation tab. We're going to need to set up the integration inside of the page itself. So once the page loads, we're going to go up to settings and then down to integration. And we're going to see here that it says that it's not connected. So we're going to select an integration. In this case, we're going to grab our MailChimp. And we want to add to a list. And then here we are going to select our list. And this is the same list that we were showing over here before when we were under audiences. And then we went to view the audience. This is the audience we have here, also known as a list. And so that's what we're going to do is we're going to select that list. And it's going to say that it's connected. And then confirmation email. Don't send one or you can send one. So again, that's something you will set up inside of MailChimp itself. And each, each integration, I suspect, would be slightly different on what's going to also populate right there. And then all we're going to do is we're going to come out and we're going to click on save and it will save the integration and it will save the page. So that's really it. There's not a whole lot you have to do to set up any integration. So let's just click on add new integration because every one is going to be slightly different and you're going to have to hunt around on the pages and more accurately just Google and say, okay, where do I find my API keys for if you're doing active campaign or AWeber or whatever. But see, if we click on active campaign, 
it's going to ask for an API key and an API URL. So again, you're going to get both of those from inside of your active campaign account and just put them in here, name it and add your integration. It's really that simple. It's not more than a couple of three or four steps total. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any more questions, reach out to ClickFunnels support.